Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I am going to explain you the basic comparison in between drift velocity and free velocity. I have seen students are having a bit confusion in between what is the basic difference in between drift velocity and free velocity. So, see drift velocity that is a velocity associated with charge carrier when charge carriers are moving inside material and free velocity that is a velocity of charge carriers when those charge carriers are moving inside free space. Now when motion happens inside material at the time there are few things that you need to understand and when motions of charge carrier that happens inside free space at that time also there are few basic things that you need to understand. Like if I talk about material over here, let me consider one material over here. So, in here we are having one material, right. Now, with this material, let us apply electric field in this direction. Let us apply electric field in this direction. So, inside material there will be atoms, right. So, let us consider one electron over here, right. Now, see. If I say here we are not having any electric field initially. So, what will happen is this when this electron moving inside at a time it will get collided with atoms. So, its motion will be like this. After collision it will be having some motion right. I am showing you random motion as that motion will be random only right. Why the reason is this charge carrier that will be colliding with atoms inside material. Now, as if you apply electric field then this charge carrier that will be having movement right but because of electric field here see this random motion that will be having shifting like if i talk about shifting over here then you see that shifting can be like this right it may be like this so here if you observe if you observe see this much difference is there in terms of distance and with this distance whatever velocity is there that is drift velocity right so inside material we calculate things in terms of drift velocity when it comes to motion of charge but when it comes to free space at the time we calculate free velocity like here as if i talk about one practical example where we are having two plates over here and here we are having free space right now here if you apply potential difference, if you apply potential difference V and as if I say we are having charge carrier over here, then here there are no atoms over here. So, this charge carrier that will be having free velocity, right. So, how to calculate drift velocity and free velocity? So, drift velocity that is associated with electric field and mobility. Let me show you how. See, when it comes to drift velocity, so, drift velocity that is Vd and that could be calculated by mu into E, right. Mobility into electric field. But when it comes to free velocity, when it comes to free velocity, so at that time, see this free velocity that you can understand like this. You see kinetic energy of charge carrier will be equals to potential energy applied over here. So, kinetic energy that is half mvf square where vf is free velocity that is equals to potential energy ev where e is charge into v is velocity you can say q into v as well right so here based on that you can say this free velocity vf that will be square root of 2 ev divided by m right that is how we can calculate this so, that is how the basic difference is there. Free velocity that is associated with motion of charge in free space, while drift velocity that is associated with motion of charge in material. And in material, there will be collision with atoms. So, here we are talking about resultant motion, right. So, random motion is shown by blue color, but after electric field, that motion is getting shifted like this. So, velocity is this much only with which is there with respect to this much distance only, right. And that will be drift velocity that is equals to mobility into E. So, as if mobility is higher, obviously you can say drift velocity will increase, right. Now, to understand this, I will be considering one example. So, that will give you more clarity. So, here if you observe, 
see here question is if material of length l is given with voltage v so here we are having one material right here we are having one material that is having length l and that is applied by voltage v over here right now you see what is given which results into drift velocity so let us say here we are having drift velocity vd if the potential difference between plate is v with air in between so here we are having two parallel plate right we are having two parallel plate you see and we are applying potential difference v we are applying potential difference v in between two plates where here we are having air and it is having free velocity vf so let us say it is having free velocity vf now if potential is v by 2 new potential is v by 2 find the new drift velocity and free velocity so we need to find new drift velocity and free velocity right so as i have told you right now in this explanation what is drift velocity drift velocity vd that is mobility into electric field electric field in terms of potential that will be mu into voltage by distance distance is l over here right so vd is mu v by l well as if you want to calculate free velocity then that is square root of you see i have explained that even 2 ev by m so free velocity is square root of 2 ev by m where v is potential applied in between two pair plate right now see what we are doing is we are changing potential now now it is v dash that is v by 2 so what will happen you see if you change if you change potential to v by 2 then you will be having vd dash right so that will be mu into v by 2 by l so that is how much half of mu v by l and this is original drift velocity so now drift velocity is decreased as per vd by 2 over here and when it comes to free velocity so vf now that will be square root of if you change the potential to v by 2 then 2 ev by 2 divided by m so here square root of 1 by 2 into square root of 2 ev by m will be there so you see now vf that is this so vf by root 2 so if you divide the potential by 2 then free velocity will be vf by root 2 but as if you divide potential by half with material now new drift velocity that will become half see that is how change in drift velocity and free velocity will happen with respect to potential i hope you have understood this by this practical example and this is how you should understand even like in material motion of charge carrier that could be calculated by drift velocity and when it comes to free space motion of charge carrier that could be calculated by free velocity and that is how you can apply these formulas and you can be able to solve problems as well based on these two equations i hope i have cleared your concept regarding what is the basic difference in between drift velocity and free velocity still if anything that you would like to share please note it down in the comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video